start unloading here. Okay, that means start load unloading means you are executing here. Now, where I can do real time, can I unload here? I can perform in in all the activities whereas monitor, but real time, where is where whereas operator is going to do that? The unloader, unloader is going to use RFEI. So I am going to introduce uh, there is RFDI, but I'm since I'm not I don't have RF device. I'm trying to use RF using RF UI to access the RF device. So exactly, it looks like RF device similar to like this. Nothing like that. If you if you if you log in RF device, either Motorola or Samsung or so on. So is the market leaders, you know. So it looks like same thing only. So in real time, you see, you you connect that RF RF instrument, right? That's what you connected. So exactly, a warehouse clerk, you will enter everything, warehouse number, resource, so on. So, okay, just enter it. Here we have all the options. We can do all the manual selection, inbound process. See, the, you can see using RFA, I can do unloading, deconsolidation, put away, receiving, handling in it. I can always see even outbound process here, picking, packing. I can always see internal process as we discuss counting, physical quality, resource management, mad management, hard work movements, everything. Even I can go for system guided selection. There are several ways, you know, you can uh, perform the warehouse activities using RF here. For example, inbound process, as I just said, I am going to unload it by option four, receiving by ASN number. Okay. In a real time, most of the time they use ASN based on the TU. If it's a based on TU, they go for the door. Which door you are going to do that? Okay. Either door or ASN. So since I, I said ASN, I'm trying to put a ASN only. See that the delivery, you look at the delivery number is same, 159, whatever delivery. Say the various door one is proposed, number of handling units one, and you enter it. You can always list. In the real time, you may not see only one. You may see even 100, you may 50, 30, 40, depends on that. So always the warehouse operator, he scans the handling units you know that every handling unit having a barcode there is a barcode you know that so the rf device can read all the barcodes you may not enter manually these things so he scans the every handling unit so even his 100 it doesn't matter for him he can easily do that but if you are doing gui it's a painful task but in rfa is okay just enter it now you scanned it you know that this handling unit consists of a two products one is a deco one product having 15 quantity. See, I can see one more. I can always see next level here. Okay. So next to component, I can see there is another product 20 quantities. The both having one single unit. You have a provision to change the quantity. You have a provision to change the packing material also. You have a provision to do all these things here. In case uh, even change quantity is possible to do here also at the unloading level. Okay. So now, you can say that, see, already various task is created. You know that we have created the TU level only. It shows here. If it is not created, this one be empty. Certainly, you can use this one. You can always create the unloading tasks here. Itself. Then you can, using RFA, you can confirm saying that you unload it. You, you know, two things happening. In RF, you unload it. Who is going to do physically? Am I right? Always remember. When you are doing an EWM warehouse management, you always think is one is a one one is a system wise, one is a physically. Two things are important. You are not only unloading physically, and you need to do in a system wise. That means every activity it involves system, it involves physical movements, physical system, physical and system. If you remember this one, you never ever forget anything. I mean, you you understand very easily. System and physically. You were unloading mean physically when somebody should unload. System wise, you have to confirm that. So that's what I'm confirming now. And you need to scan the staging area. In a real time, you know, uh, in a real time, if you have a doors, okay, you, you may not scan this one. We put as we put a one label here. This door, I put a uh, label here. Okay. That means barcode label I will attach in front of the door. The warehouse clerk, you know. You just try to scan this, this barcode, okay? I mean, uh, barcode for the staging area, even for the door in case you want door. So, so you may not enter manual of the inbound area. You can scan, we will keep in front of the door, 
staging area labels so that he will scan the barcode and he will enter it. Okay. So here we may not do just a copy, confirm that. Okay. That's a confirmation control. Sorry. Somewhere I locked it. Okay. I need to come out this one. Sorry. This system says is locked here. And this one also I will refresh here. Delivery. Okay, just to enter it once again. F7, F7 is a back. Always to go F7. One. Enter it. Enter it. Confirm it. And scan this. Okay, that is locked. I don't know locked. Just a minute. It looks like it's locked here. That's what it's saying. Locked. Why is saying it's locked? We'll come back again. I'm trying to go from here. F7. Eight. Enter it. Confirm this. Okay. You scan, you confirm the, this is unloading task now. That means you unloaded from the, uh, through the door to the staging area. 